Hello everybody, it's Sarah, welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new vlog! This is my first vlog of 2021, it's been so long since the last time I filmed a vlog I don't even remember, I think it was like in fall 2020, so yeah! Hello! Reading vlog! I'm so excited! So in case you don't know, I'm currently writing my master's thesis and I just sent my first chapter to my master's professor so that she can read it and give me her comments. So I decided to take the next couple of days off, which I'm really, really excited about and I do plan on doing a lot of reading in the next couple of days. So let's talk about the books that I'm gonna be reading for this reading vlog. So the first one is Bad Feminist by Roxane Gay. I started this book a couple of days ago and I think I'm like 30% into it. I'm reading it on my laptop as an ebook and so far it's so good. Uh, the only thing is I'm kind of trying to like take my time with it but I also have to bring it back to the library in like two days I think at this point. So my first goal for this reading vlog is going to try to finish this one actually. And yeah, I'm really excited to find out more about it and the fact that I have to return it is kind of a like fun challenge. And then the second book that I want to read during this reading vlog is The Space Between Worlds by Micaiah Johnson. This is our February pick for the TV's book club and I have read up to page 96 I think of this one and I was really confused at first but now I'm really enjoying it more I think. I'm getting a little bit more into it and this one is like about um, world traveling and uh, you know just social issues and stuff like that and yeah so far it's really really good. So yeah today is Wednesday I'm not going to work today because it's my day off and I took a shower obviously as you can probably tell and I just uploaded a video and edited a thumbnail for like three hours so <laughs> I am ready to do something else. Um, it's almost noon so I'm gonna first have lunch and then I think I'm gonna be reading more of Bad Feminist. I'm gonna try to maybe make it halfway through this book today. I don't know if I'm going to succeed but yeah I'm definitely gonna try to read a couple more chapters at least and also later on I think I'm gonna talk to you about all of the books that I read in February because I'm not gonna be doing a wrap-up this month because I haven't read a lot but I still kind of want to mention the books that I've read so yeah this is also going to serve as my kind of like February wrap-up but yeah we're gonna do this later for now I'm just gonna go and have some lunch. So it's a little bit later and I have been spending a lot of time reading. Um, I said at the beginning of this vlog that I wanted to get to at least 50% of Bad Feminist today and I have finished part one. So I'm now at 62%. So I'm more than halfway through, which is really, really nice. And this book is honestly so good. Um, all of the essays are so interesting and they're really keeping me engaged. Um, the only one that I kind of disagreed about was the uh, essay about trigger warnings because Waxen Gay doesn't really believe in the necessity of trigger warnings and I definitely disagree. I don't know if this is still her opinion on the matter but yeah I just didn't really agree with that one. It was still interesting to see like her point of view, obviously. Um, but yeah, speaking of trigger warnings, if you're interested in this book, there are definitely a lot of trigger warnings that apply, including rape, sexual violence, uh, violence against women, homophobia, and uh, eating disorders. Those are the ones that I have seen so far, if my memory is correct. I will try to find all of them and leave them in the description box if you want to go and check it out for yourself. 
Uh, but yeah, this book is really really interesting. All of those essays are definitely making me think a lot and also make me very angry at the state of the world um, and the condition of women everywhere. But you know, that is often what happens when you read feminist essays, but it's still very, very interesting. So yeah, I'm very happy. Oh, it's snowing. Look. It's snowing outside. Also, I need to shovel um, my window. But anyway, I'm, I'm very happy with the progress that I was able to make on this book today. I'm definitely going to be focusing a little bit more on the space between worlds after supper because I want to read more of this book as well. But so far, I've been having a very great relaxing day. I went for a little walk. I also went to Staples to print out some pictures for my um, March bullet journal, which I'm so excited about. I might do like a journal with me video. I don't know if I will, but I'm just so excited about those spreads that I kind of want to do a video about them. But yeah, if journaling videos are something that you would maybe be interested to see from me, let me know in the comments down below because I'm really obsessed with my bullet journal at the moment. <laughs> For now, I think I'm probably going to be watching a couple of videos, maybe help with the supper preparation. And then after supper, I'm just going to dive right into the space between worlds. I just finished filming this last clip and I realized that I still haven't told you what are the books that I read in February um, and so I thought that I would do this now instead of just like going down a YouTube spiral but basically <laughs> the reason why I don't really want to do a February wrap-up is because like I said I haven't read a lot of books this month I listened to a lot of Avatar The Last Airbender and a lot of The Legend of Korra so I haven't been doing a lot of reading but it's fine I've been honestly they're just like having such a great time but the books that I have read in February are basically An Ember in the Ashes, A Torch Against the Night and A Reaper at the Gates by Sabah Tahir and I also didn't want to do a wrap up because I've already talked a lot about those books on my channel you all know how much I love the Ember in the Ashes series and I am so excited to finally read A Sky Beyond the Storm so yeah I just I really love them once again these books have like such great characters such great world building, wonderful magic system, and just absolutely incredible plot. They're also so incredibly dark, which is definitely something that I personally really like about them, but also something that you need to be aware of, I feel like, before getting into them. But yeah, oh my god, I love them so much. I had kind of forgotten how good these books are, honestly, um, because it had been a while since I had read them for the first time, but wow, they're just so good. They're unlike anything I have ever read and they're just really really incredible and I can't wait to see how this series is going to be concluded. I love all of the characters. I love Elias and Laia and Helene. I just can't wait to read the last one. I think it's gonna be such a wild ride and it's probably going to destroy my emotions but honestly at this point I'm so ready. <laughs> everybody good afternoon um it is the next day as you can probably tell and i spent the entire morning relaxing and reading bad feminist i made a lot of progress in this book i'm like 76 um percent into it i think now and i really do believe that i'm gonna be able to finish it today which is really really nice because it's gonna be gone by tomorrow so i need to finish it today um which is what i'm gonna do this afternoon but first i'm gonna go and take a little walk because it's really really nice outside today it's like super sunny the temperature is great it's snowed so everything is just like so beautiful it honestly looks like a wintry postcard right now so yeah i'm gonna go and take a walk with my dog and then i'm gonna come back and finish bad feminist and also i just saw on twitter that i think the shadow and bone trailer is dropping tomorrow which i'm 
losing my mind over like oh my gosh it's i'm so excited if that is what is happening tomorrow i'm gonna freak the freakity frack out um and you're probably gonna see a reaction video too because i've been planning to film this reaction video to the trailer ever since the show was announced so yeah oh my god i'm losing my mind but yeah i'm gonna go on a walk now and then i'm gonna come back and finish reading bad feminist <laughs> so it's a little bit later and as you saw earlier I finally finished Bad Feminist I'm so proud of myself I'm so happy that I managed to finish it before it was due at the library and I want to say that overall I really really enjoyed this book I thought it was super interesting all of the essays were very fascinating and definitely kept me engaged throughout and yeah if you want to read about feminism and racism and the intersection of those things definitely give this book a try I also really love the fact that Roxane Gay talked a lot about pop culture because that's a thing that I haven't seen in a lot of the nonfiction that I have been reading lately. I have read a lot of articles about feminism and pop fiction for my own like master's degree and bachelor degree but I had never really read like an entire book that focused a lot on those topics as well and this one was really really interesting for that like if you want to see her opinion about like very popular films or books it's just really really nice and really really interesting so yeah overall i really really enjoyed it and i would definitely recommend it there was also a little bit of humor in there which was really really nice and overall all of the essays were just so fantastic. I've also made a little bit more progress into The Space Between Worlds. I'm still not really sure about how I feel about this one. Um, so far it's like interesting but it's also not completely capturing my full attention I think um, and I will definitely of course share more of my thoughts during the live show with the Teams Book Club so if you want to check that out it will definitely be up before this video so I will link it up here but yeah so far like it's interesting but it's also not blowing my mind and in case you don't know about this book it's basically about this world in which there are people who can world travel so if there is another version of yourself that exists into another world you can travel over there but if that version of yourself is dead you can actually go and travel over there kind of like taking their place I want to say and our main character like she has died in a lot of worlds so she can travel a lot but then uh, she starts to get very anxious because there seems to be a lot of other versions of herself that are being murdered and so she is kind of like trying to investigate and I don't know I thought that this was going to be much more mystery based but so far I'm like 158 pages into this and uh, I don't know like there isn't a lot of action it's a lot about like the characters past and all of that stuff and it's definitely still interesting but it's not really like what I was anticipating um, but yeah it's still really interesting it also talks about a lot of social conflicts and just social issues and stuff like that which I think is really really great so yeah I don't really know how I feel about it yet but if you want to hear all of my thoughts as well as the thoughts of all of my wonderful co-hosts definitely go and check out the live show but 
today i think that i'm gonna be wrapping up this vlog here i hope that you really enjoyed if you did please don't forget to subscribe and i will see you in my next one bye